In this third example of polar forms, we have the product and the division. For the product, you just simply get the product of individual. Okay, so we, we can write again the problem. Okay, so it's good to put some parenthesis signs so that you will not get confused. It's a good practice, okay, if you put the parenthesis signs to separate the two complex numbers. So for the product, it's actually um, follow this formula, okay? So, so very simple. You just multiply the two modulus, so you have 8 times uh, 4, okay? And then the angle is just the sum of the two angles. So this is basically 25 plus 60 degrees, okay? So we have 8 times 4, 24. Oops, sorry. And 32. Okay, 32. Angle 25, so this is 85 degrees. Okay, so that's it. So we have the product. Very simple. You just add the two modulus. Uh, sorry, multiply the two modulus and then add the degrees. Okay, that's the total degrees. Okay, now for the division, very simple, similar to the product. So you have Z1. Z1 is 8. Angle 25 divided by 4 angle 60. Actually, if you see the pattern in the product, so this is actually 8 divided by 4. Okay, so take the division of the modulus and then for the angle, take the subtraction. Okay, make sure that the, ang the first one is the, the numerator, the angle in the numerator and then subtracted by the angle in the denominator, so which is 60 degrees. So, I think you, you see already the answer, which is 2 angle 25 minus 60. This is negative, um, sorry, that should be 35. Okay, 35 degrees. Okay, so 2 angle negative 35. You can see how simpler it is for polar form compared to the rectangular form. Okay. So, when you do the product in rectangular form, you need to do the FOIL method. And for the division, you need to take the conjugate product of the denominator and then arrange the equation. And it will really take you some time. So, as I said, if you're dealing with product or uh, multiplication and division, use polar forms. Or if addition and subtraction of complex numbers, use the rectangular form. But if you're going to use your calculator, which is what we are about to do now, okay, so very simple. Just uh, write the given, okay, so I actually have the given here, okay, so from the previous example, you just want to edit this one. So if you want to multiply the two, you just do this, 8 angle 25 times 4 angle 60. So you can interchange the two terms, okay. So, you know that one, that's what we call the commutative, if I'm not mistaken, commutative property of mathematics. So, 8 angle 25 times 4 angle 6 is the same as the other way around. Okay, so, press equal sign. And then, you, you remember what I said, that the default result of the complex number is rectangular form, and then you can convert it to uh, polar form. Okay? Okay, so you have here 32 angle sorry 32 angle 85 okay which is the same as what we manually solve and for the division going back from the original equation okay so you just change the product with division okay or the other uh, here this uh, actual division here but uh, you can also use the division sign this is division not plus okay and that's division okay so then you have you have the rectangular form, but actually, um, before before we do that, no. So if you do, uh, if you have this equation, you can actually combine already the conversion like that. Okay. So you can add the r angle theta so that whatever your result will be in terms of the polar form. Okay. Oops, I think I made a mistake. Ah, okay, we made a mistake because uh, uh, we interchanged the. This should be eight here. <laughs> 8 angle 25 and then uh, 4 angle uh, 60 okay so we made the wrong um, that we interchange the numerator and denominator so now it is correct and then we press again this one 
and you get the correct answer. Okay? So, we have verified our manual with the calculator technique. Okay? So, that's it for the polar forms.